guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption. And in this episode, we'll be doing um, a DeSanta mission. Yeah, another DeSanta mission. We haven't done one in quite a while, so let's just whistle for my horse right here. There it is. Okay, so let's just make it over to the lead um, DeSanta mission. Sorry, I just can't say it that well. So, um, yeah, I'll see you when we, when we make it there. Okay, so we've made it over to the town where the mission takes place. So we're just gonna go and uh, make it over there right now. So let's just go up this path right here. And um, I think the D sign, that's where the mission is. So yeah, there's lots of gun stores in this town. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting to be allowed to get in. Do I just walk through or? Sorry, partner. Is there any way in? Oh, there we are. All I had to do was just walk through the doors. Jeez. Eres Yoron Maricón. Me das asco. Hablas lealtad. Pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito sin vergüenza. ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> Afrento, Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? The escuela is from this province. He's, uh... My father was a borracho, a drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> they see only a tyrant. That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used if you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men I'm fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now you head there and you lend your support. <sighs> Baboso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. I sent some men ahead. We will meet them there. Okay, so I think we have to get on our horse right here. Yeah, it says mount your horse. So, um. Where do we go then? I think we just gotta follow um, DeSanta, of course. So, yeah. Drop 
finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country and the new... Okay, so we're racing to, um... Tezora Azul. Sorry if I can't pronounce these names right. Um, we are in Mexico right now. Oh, he's beating me right now, so we just need to get right in front of him. And how far away is it actually? Let's just check. It is not that far actually, so we'll make it there in time. Just last um, two missions we did was um, it was pretty slow. The horse and the carriage dam, just making it there. By the way, I just, in this game, I just don't really speak over the conversations that are happening. I just like to. Um, I just like to let you guys listen to him, of course, because there's some people who are like really big up the story. Santa, ¿por qué tardaste tanto? ¿Y quién es este gringo? Octavio, favor. Cada hombre ayuda. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. Okay, so I think we need to search the town for rebels. So I'm gonna use my Springfield field rifle, of course. There they are. I'm not used to it being like right up her to uh, use dead eye, of course. I've got some revolver ammo right here. Oh yeah, I managed to hit him. There we are. Right, I could die, I could die, I could die. I'm gonna hide. There's one guy over here. Alright, so, um, there's one upstairs. There we are. Um, dead eyes actually quite useful. Um, hold on, there's one guy left. I'm gonna loot some of the corpses first because, um, you know what I'm like with looting corpses, guys. I just can't um, stop looting corpses, of course. But um, we still need all that cash so we can buy all them guns. In which I haven't bought any yet, of course. Because I'm just racking up to just get a big spend going. But unfortunately, there's no upstairs. So I wonder how he got, got up there. He might have just climbed on some stuff. Maybe like this. Yeah, there we are. Now we can just loot everything. I'm just gonna loot this guy. We're just gonna meet up with the Santa in the middle, so yeah. I heard the little horse crying in that house over there. <coughs> Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> No, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! 
¡Buen trabajo! Okay, so I think we're meant to go and find some like um, fire bottles and then just set the house on fire. So, um, so we need to set some of the houses on fire. So, burn one of the rebel hideouts. So, I'm gonna burn this one because who wouldn't? And, um, where do I go to burn it? Do I just go inside? Yeah, I think I do that. There we are, Ben, another rebel hideout. And we're gonna ban the last rebel hideout. There we are, so we're just gonna um wait for this to end. Isn't that beautiful? You really are pathetic. You need to relax. Come back to the villa and sample some of the new girls before they spoil. Okay guys, so that's the that's the end of today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed guys. Please like, comment and subscribe subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye.